Have you ever seen Link's wand? Did you spend your hard-earned money on a Nintendo Power Glove? And when is Superman not so super? It's time to crash and burn as we break down the most spectacular failures of all time right here, right now on Filter. And welcome to Filter, a hand-picked top 10 video game countdown is voted on by you, the viewer, at G4TV.com. From underrated gems to mainstream blockbusters to cult classics, the video game universe has no shortage of games worth lining up to play. But for every home run game developers hit, they also smack a few foul balls. That's why we've decided to dedicate this half hour to the games that really struck out the most spectacular failures of all time. So, what defines a game as being a failure, and what are some of the most spectacular failures ever? Here's what a few of you had to say. Games that are spectacular failures. I guess in my mind it's just games that were unbelievably bad, even, though, even, though, even if they had relatively good or strong source material. Spectacular failures are games that had a lot of anticipation for them and a lot of hype behind them and they totally fell flat on their face. Video game tends to fail and uh, usually in innovation. Some games just try to be like other games rather than being something on their own. Games that are spectacular failures can be two things. The box office failure and you've got the critical failure. The game looks great, sounds great, you know, has everything going for it, but if it's unplayable, why, why am I going to even bother? Examine the words. Spectacular failure. <laughs> Something that's so awful, you can actually laugh at it. Hey, I can't wait to bomb some Dodongo! It's long been said that failure is a mark of not trying. Well, it's time to dispel that notion. We begin the countdown at number 10 with a saintly effort for the PC with results that were just plain evil. Let me break this down for you. You are an angel named Bob. There's a portal to hell on the far side of the moon. Your mission is to kill Satan and his evil minions. Roger that. why they thought that game would find followers, heaven knows. In the nine spot, Sega's flagship character stars in a board game that was more of a board game than anything else. Take a look at this slumber-inducing offering for the Dreamcast, Sonic Shuffle. Shuffle was a terrible failure because it was supposed to be you know, Sega's Mario Party. There was no control, the minigames were terrible, uh, and it was just boring. Who are you? It's difficulty level. It's near impossible to beat some of the levels, or it feels like it until you just really stick with it. They can see your cards when you can't see theirs. So. It's just a very difficult game. 
Sonic Shuffle, I think, tried too hard to be Mario Party. There was no inspiration that went into creating the mini games. Awful Mario Party ripoff. Just, it's, it's a god awful game. Let's keep shuffling down the countdown to spot number eight, where we find Dai Katana. Coming off his success with Doom, developer John Romero was expected to deliver one monster of a game. But rumor has it that Ion Storm Dallas spent more money on their penthouse offices than they did on developing the game. And in the end, all they managed to deliver was a big, smelly beast. Yeah, I don't think, you know, I'm saying anything new when I talk about Daikatana not living up to expectations. Well, you know, egos, bad games, you know, hard to believe those go together. Why is a game bad? Romero, I mean, uh, this one was really a clear case of hype that exceeded by uh, what the developers were even remotely capable of delivering. They just under-delivered on every facet from graphics to gameplay to sound. <laughs> frustrated when I was getting attacked by little frogs and I thought that was uh, you know from from a game that was hyped that much it definitely was completely disappointing this failed piece of software was playable on some pretty successful hardware the Nintendo 64 and the Game Boy we've got to take a quick break but when we come back we'll look at some failed hardware that was virtually unplayable plus We'll keep counting them down till we find the most spectacular failure of all time. Do the gods of war leave us begging for mercy, or can a Zelda game ensure even more legendary pain? Stick around and find out when Filter returns. 